hello everyone so today's uh, topic is introduction to algorithm so the contents will be uh, introduction to algorithm what are the characteristics of an algorithm difference between algorithm and program what is the need of algorithm and what are the design techniques we have for algorithm okay so moving to the next uh, what is an algorithm means so algorithm is nothing but it is a step by step uh, procedure okay or we can say step by step finite sequence of instructions to solve a particular problem okay so here uh, we are having a sequence of instructions uh, that are that specify a, a given steps that need to be followed in order to solve a given problem so we can say it is simply a step by step, by step uh, sequence of instructions okay so uh, so to solve any given problems first we need to define the problems okay and then we we'll, then we will design and analyze that algorithm okay that uh, that required to solve the given problem okay so what is an example of an algorithm let's take one simple example how to write a algorithm okay so let's take this example uh, we have a, a algorithm to add two numbers and we store the result in the third variable so we are uh, writing an algorithm that will add two numbers uh, will take uh, input from the user and uh, and we will add them and we will store them in a uh, variable so what will be step number 1 uh, obviously we will start means we will uh, declare the variable then um, step number 2 means we are uh, reading the first input from the user we are taking the first number as a input and we are storing the num1 similarly the third step will be reading the second number in the variable called num2 and then we are performing the addition so we will store that uh, result in in the variable sum and uh, step number 5 is we are printing the value of sum okay that we have received and lastly we will stop so this is the very simple step uh, to write an algorithm so we are defining a proper step and the steps are very uh, clear and they are very and finite so what is algorithm overview so if you take uh, what is an algorithm where would you apply so for algorithm we have input we have uh, output okay so we will give data to the algorithm so so it is called the algorithm okay so characteristics of an algorithm so what are the characteristics of an algorithm means so first of first character uh, characteristics is input so algorithm must have zero or well defined input that means our algorithm our algorithm will take zero input suppose we are not uh, asking for the user input we are simply executing our program so we are not taking user input so that means it will not take input so uh, in some cases it may take input also and the output an algorithm must give at least one output okay it will print at least uh, one output uh, okay it will print, print it will print something as an output so we have at least one output for algorithm finiteness yes finite time mean, uh, finiteness means our algorithm that we have designed must complete its execution or okay after some finite number of steps that means our algorithm must have some finite steps okay uh, for uh, this writing the uh, program next proper uh, property or we can say characteristics is definiteness definiteness means the each steps of our algorithm they must be precisely defined and it must be unambiguous okay they all the steps must be clear clear it must be simple and there should not be any ambiguity while writing the steps of an algorithm next is completeness we can say complete completeness means the algorithm that we have designed must solve the all the problems of the same type that is designed for okay suppose we are writing the sum of we are writing the sum of two numbers so that algorithm must able to add two numbers of different types okay it can uh, the algorithm must add two no, two integer numbers two floating numbers like this so it must be uh, applicable to solve all problems of the same type that's called completeness and the next one is effectiveness what is what does effect uh, effectiveness means uh, we are writing the algorithm okay we are defining all the steps properly so that algorithm must be feasible and it must it can be implementable in any programming language okay we, that means we are converting our algorithm to the actual program so that can be done if you are converting if you are uh, if you are making our algorithm to uh, to convert into programs okay for this uh, complete execution for its proper implementation that algorithm is called effectiveness that means we have effectively uh, designed our algorithm 
ओके इन द लास्ट वन इज एफिशियंट एफिशियंट मीन्स अलवर एल्थो मस्ट भी एफिशियंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टाइम एंड स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ओके डेट मीन्स अवर एल्गोथो मस्ट भी वेरी मस्ट uh it must be it must take or algorithm must take less running time it must take less memory space as for its execution okay that's called the efficient algorithm so we our algorithm must be efficient in terms of time and space complexity okay so moving to the next this is a very important question that is asked in many times in interview and in exam also so what is the difference between an algorithm and program so basically uh, on the left hand side i have written algorithm Uh, point wise and on the right hand side i have written the for program so here you can see the first num step number 1 or we can say first point for algorithm the uh, algorithm steps are finite in numbers okay all the steps that we are defining for algorithm that must be finite in number this is very important point and for program that uh, the fin uh, program steps are need not to be finite in nature okay? they are need not be okay that's not the case of for program Algorithm is written in any any algorithmic language. We can take any algorithmic language to write the algorithm. Okay, and for program, it is written in any programming language. Suppose C, C plus plus, Java, and Python. Okay, algorithm is firstly designed and then its implementation is done. Okay, first we are writing and defining the algorithm at the design phase, and then we are implementing that. Okay, program is the implemented. Uh, program is implemented after designing a well structured efficient algorithm so it is program we are writing after we have a efficient algorithm so that is done as the implementation time so we analyze the algorithm for its better performance okay how we can improve its performance uh, that can be done then we can analyze that algorithm based on some complexities as well for a program we simply do test and run the program and for the expected output so that is called the Uh, program so algorithm is written in in a paper or we can write in any uh, we can say any uh, our in laptop in any we are opening by opening any notepad or ms word we, that we can write also so algorithm is written in paper and then implemented in a machine okay first we are writing the algorithm properly okay with finite steps uh, it should be unambiguous then we are implementing implementing that in a computer machine for the program it is it is dependent on the hardware type and the configuration as well and we for which uh, hardware and which uh, and for which operating system we are writing that uh, program or software that need to be defined so next moving to the next very important point so uh, what is the need of an algorithm why we need algorithm okay so we need algorithm to solve a given problem uh, what should be our approach to solve the problem so that tells uh, this algorithm Uh, to understand the basic principles of designing the algorithm uh, what in what fashion on in what principle we are designing the algorithm uh, that is uh, that is understandable okay for algorithm to measure the behavior or, or performance of the algorithm in all cases suppose best case worst case average case in any cases how does our algorithm behave what is our time complexity okay that is uh, we can say that is the need of an alg algorithm and then uh, last one we can measure and analyze the algorithm uh, time and space complexity for the problems okay for for a given input uh, without implementing and running it how we can check uh, we can check this uh, how much space or how much time our algorithm when is implemented in the form of program will take so that we can reduce the cost of design at the earlier stage okay so this is the need of an algorithm next uh, next is what are the design techniques we have for an algorithm so we'll discuss each, uh, each design uh, one by one so we have first one divide and conquer approach greedy techniques okay dynamic programming branch and bound randomized algorithms and backtracking algorithms so we have the six different design techniques uh, that we usually used for designing the algorithm let's take the first one divide and conquer so what is divide and conquer studies mean so we have a problem we are dividing that problem into sub problems okay and then on that sub problem we are uh, applying the algorithm repeatedly recursively and we are solving that sub sub problem okay that that is called the conquer phase and at the end when all the sub problems are solved then we are combining the all the sub problems in order to have the solution for the original problem so that is simply called the divide and conquer uh, 
approach okay so let's say a few examples where we do where we use this uh, strategy binary search okay in binary search we use divide and conquer in quick sort in merge sort in closest pair of points stresses matrix multiplication algorithm so these are the few examples where we use this type of algorithm design technique so moving to the next we have greedy techniques so as the name suggests greedy means we are uh, finding the best among the best okay we are finding the our uh, which is the our best uh, uh, optimal solution among all the solution so in, in green technique the main objective is to find the subset that optimize our goal that means we want maximum profit in minimum cost so how we can efficiently optimize our goal that is the main objective of greedy technique so it is basically uh, it is used it is used for optimization problem where we are getting the best solution is the, is our target and each step of this uh, while solving the problem we compute a local optimal that is uh, okay we finding a local solution for that uh, step and as we move on so we find a global among the all local optimals so that uh, we can say yes this this is the solution for this given problem okay Uh, where we use this uh, this type of technique in greedy techniques, okay, in a uh, algorithm we use for knapsack problems, okay. Then we have uh, job sequencing with deadline, Kruskal minimum spanning tree algorithm, Prim's minimum spanning tree algorithm. Then we have Dijkstra's minimum spanning tree algorithm, optimal merge pattern. Then we have Huffman coding. So these are the things where we use the algorithm. Next uh, design principle is uh, dynamic programming. okay it's very good concept let's see what is dynamic programming okay means so dynamic programming basically it uh, remembers the past result what uh, past uh, result or past function call has uh, returned us that we will store okay in a table we can say and and we can utilize use them you know to find the new results so okay so that is called the dynamic programming it is mostly used for optimization problems so in this we need to find the best solution among all the possible solution okay and we is very uh, good technique also so what does this uh, requires how we find the uh, result of okay how we find the solution in dynamic programming so we have two uh, this uh, it requires two thing first one is optimal sub structure and next thing is overlapping sub problems so what does optimal sub sub structure means it means to find the optimal solution that contains or uh, that is uh, that is required as a solution for the given sub problem so we are finding we are simply finding a optimal solution for a sub problem that is called optimal solution and then what is overlapping sub problem overlapping sub problem means solution to sub problems can be stored and reused in a bottom up fashion so we are simply finding the solution for the sub problem that can we can store in a table and then we can reuse that uh, as we uh, proceed in a bottom up fashion in the Uh, while solving the problem okay next thing is uh, uh, it is why it is mostly preferred over greedy technique okay time programming is mostly preferred over greedy technique because it always gives us correct output for the given problem or and next thing is it works on the sequence of decisions for the output okay so based on some decisions uh, we get the correct output so it may take some time because uh, we are storing the uh, our past result and we are getting back when and we are utilizing that using that to get the new result so it may take some time as compared to the greedy technique next uh, where do we use dynamic programming okay what are the some examples of dynamic programming matrix chain multiplication algorithm longest common subsequence traveling salesman problem okay zero one knapsack problem then we have all pair shortest path problem sum of subset problem okay optimal cost Ban research tree and multi-stage graph. So this is these are the and Fibonacci series as well. So these are all the examples where we use this dynamic programming technique. Or next we have design stat, uh, strategy that is called as branch and bound. So we are branching means we are um, having we are having a problem and we are finding the branch we are making that in small, small branches and on that given branches we are bounding some our uh, up our uh, uh, constraint okay let's see what is this in detail so it is basically uses breadth first search technique to find the optimal solution because we are moving towards the one depth okay so we are moving towards the uh, this uh, branches for find okay so 
uh, okay next is branching so what is branching means uh, in branch and bound branching means the original problem is divided into smaller sub problems we are dividing that into smaller sub problem and bounding means we have a lower bound that is lower bound is computed for each sense sub problem so that we can match with the upper bound so lower bound is mapping with the upper bound when this match is found we say we have the optimal solution for that if match is not found we can we we say we are not getting the uh, good result for for that so basically we are using the method called elimination and selection process elimination means once we are going through one branch we are finding this up, uh, lower bound if that does not match or we can say if it is not of our uh, this uh, matched value so we eliminate that and we move on so like this we are el eliminating one by one each branches and based on that we select the next one and we calculate the this value okay so where does we use this branch and bound exam uh, this technique so we this approach is used in uh, for a number of np hard problems so we have np hard problems such as table salesman problem knapsack problem okay assignment problem integer programming and uh, non programming non linear programming okay? so these are the few examples where do we use this uh, branch and bound technique okay next is randomized algorithm so as the name suggests randomized means we are having some random values we are giving this, them as input and based on some random values or we are having some randomized algorithm for solving a given problem so in this a random numbers are used to improve and get the solution of the problem so we are giving random uh, random numbers okay uh, in order to have the solution to the problem so based on the randomness of the input the randomized algorithm gives us the optimal solution for the optimized problem so for for the optimized optimization of the problem or the optimal solution we are having this randomness of the input okay, okay this also used for decision problem also we also use uh, this for decision problem next is a few examples let's see what are the examples of randomized algorithm uh, we say randomized kick shot okay that is an example randomized selection sort we have then randomized minimum cut algorithm we have randomized algorithm for n queen problem okay then we have pattern matching testing string equality well, these are the few examples of the randomized algorithm and the last one we have last technique that we have is the backtracking algorithm so what does it mean so it is basically using uh, uses it based on the depth first search okay we are moving to the depth and, and then we are backtracking so it just simply simply create a search tree kind of where we traverse each branches recursively so if uh, we don't find any uh, success so we find any dead end so we backtrack that uh, branch okay so what is the approach test all the subtrees all the branches of the subtrees for the solution if not if you are not getting anything just simply backtrack and traverse next subtree okay so this is the simple Uh, way that means we are simply creating a search tree and we are doing the depth first search and what does we use this type of backtracking algorithms okay so we are using for maze algorithm solving the recursive maze algorithm hamiltonian circuit problems then we have subset problems n queen problems graph coloring okay these are the few examples of this uh, okay okay so thank you so much